All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy 90 Soul back at it again with another sneaker for my iconic 90s sneaker series. Now, this sneaker that I'm going to get into is probably my biggest grail in my collection. Now, a lot of people, they, they when they say they have a grail, it's based off of all kinds of different factors. Ma majority of the time, it's some sort of hype sneaker that's a super high dollar amount. In this case, this sneaker for me, um, huge part of my childhood. It was an important piece of it. But before I get into this sneaker itself, I just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Uh, I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. I am trying to put content out as often as possible. I do try to put some work and effort and time into these videos before I put them up. So please, again, hit that subscribe. You can check out my future videos. You can check out my past videos. Please spread the word. Talk to your friends, family, neighbors, mailman, and just get that get that word out there. So. Let's get into these shoes. What we do here is go back. back. Where? <laughs> Chili down, cool back. So what I have here, for those of you who don't recognize these shoes, which I'm sure majority of you won't, is the Nike Air Radicates. Now, I don't believe any NBA player wore these that I know of. I don't think any celebrity wore these or endorsed them. Um, it's kind of just a basic Nike Air basketball shoe that got released. Now, this pair here released in 1994. Actually, you know what? I think these pairs released in 93. So scratch that. I think these came out in 93. Now, this is a DS pair. Never been worn, as you can see, not even laced up. Either pair is laced up. So they were never even tried on, as far as that I know. Uh, I did have to pay, you know, a pretty penny for these. But for me, it was worth it because it's associated with, you know, memories of middle school memories of my grandmother, memories of playing basketball in school. Um, just a lot of different things are associated with this. And I would really say, although I was into Jordans, although I was into shoes and sneakers, all the different, you know, Nike player shoes, there was just something about this shoe. I don't know if it was the bright red, large Nike Air on the back. I don't know if it was the Velcro, uh, tab on there that said eradicate I don't know what it was that did it for me um, but I, I definitely once I got this shoe I fell in love with the shoe got the nice air right there on the on the black wave that's going down the, the midsole um, when I got these I got these on sale I didn't get these at the start of the school year when they came out I got these in springtime I mean like most of y'all I typically got one pair of shoes uh, for school at the beginning of the year, most often. Now, if I attended basketball camp in the summer, which happened a lot, start of the year, I was still wearing those shoes that I got for basketball camp. So come springtime, I could sometimes finesse a pair from my grandmother. I don't wanna say finesse, you know, I mean, she she did a lot for me, so she, she would take care of me, but she wasn't gonna buy me the new, you know, full price Jordans or whatever that was out. It was always, I had to look at the clearance, you know, sales stuff. And these were at Champs and she was willing to get me a pair. I think these still ran about 75, I, I, for some reason 75 bucks rings in my head because I think that was still kind of expensive. Um, but I can remember her getting them for me. I remember going back to her house. I was spending the weekend with her. And I just was remembering going to school. Like I thought for sure I'd be going to school and looking fresh. And, and in my mind, I, I was. Um, of course, 
some people are like, man, those are old, those were out long ago, yada, yada, yada. But for me, um, it was the start of basketball season um, at school. You know, it was we, we were just getting into the swing of things as far as at school with basketball and stuff. So for me, it was definitely, you know, it was a come up for me. Now, this pair, being this old, is in very good shape. I mean, the leather itself is in real good shape. It doesn't have any peeling. It, the midsole doesn't necessarily have any cracking. It does have some pieces out of the midsole on a couple pairs. And as you can see, that black, that's this kind of suede nubuck material falling apart. I don't know if you can see that on my fingers. I mean, it's just rubbing off. And on this other pair, on the back, you can see it came off. And you can see that felt underneath. That's a huge disappointment to me. Not that I was planning on wearing these and going out with these, but I definitely was, I definitely was hoping, I, I don't really know. I guess I was hoping for it to be a little bit better quality, but what would you expect from 1993? I mean, I gotta be honest. I mean, I, I, I got a pretty decent pair. I mean, this, this pair is in a lot rougher shape than this pair. I mean, this one has, the stuff coming off from right there, off the heel counter, at the top, right around where the, the strap swoops through. Um, it's coming apart, I, mean, I guess it is on that one too. I mean, if I was to try to wear these, I know they would disintegrate. So these are gonna be going into kind of a sealed box kind of thing. I don't know, I haven't found anything yet on the internet that I'm gonna get. Um, but just because of that sentiment of value, this is gonna be a pair that I keep forever. I was on the look for these for seven years. I was on the look for these for seven years. I've been looking for these. And, and to find them, and I wasn't even looking for them in this kind of condition. I was just, I, even a used condition I was going for, but a lot of the pairs I was finding weren't my size, overpriced, wasn't my size, and, or they were just way beat up, way too beat up. So um, I'm grateful. If, I don't know who it was on eBay that I got these from, but I'm grateful to them. Uh, I'm grateful to whomever above, you know, made it happen. Sometimes, I mean, if, if you're looking for a specific shoe from your childhood, a specific grail, um, all I can say is, is it'll happen. It'll eventually happen. If, if you're in this game for the long haul and you got patience, it's gonna happen. And this isn't the only shoe that I've gotten that that's the case that I've been looking for a long time. And it's just being in the right time, right place, and making sure you have those funds, you know. But I definitely got lucky with these. I am super grateful for that. Um, and to be honest, I mean, if I stop buying shoes tomorrow, knowing that I have this in my collection, I could stop and, and be content with that. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but I could be content with that. Because this is really like the end-all, be-all for me as far as my my older pairs. I mean, again, I'm going to go over some other pairs that I've gotten that were also from my childhood that are OG pairs, but really the fact that I got these is pretty much the, the creme de la creme, the, the cherry on top of my collection. So let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below. Is this a shoe that you guys remember? Is this a shoe that you guys had? Is this a shoe you like? Do you like, I mean, just black, red, and white? I mean, these, these could easily be, you know, Bulls colorway, Pippin pair, you know, all that. So um, back tab, black and red, kind of this tribal pattern. I mean, it, it's, it's just a lovely shoe in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll check you out on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace.